Hello, and welcome back to One Trainer vs. The World Season 3. Now, when we last left our protagonist, she had only caught one thing because she accidentally got the only thing that she could possibly catch in the cave, outside the cave. But now, I'm going to need to look at my berry harvest. That is not a great berry harvest. Ugh, I miss the berry planting mechanics that haven't been introduced yet. There's so much more maintenance involved with these things. But eh, I got something out of it. This is the Pokemon Trainer School. It honestly looks like a prison. Okay, it looks less like a prison on the inside, but seriously. Oh, how nice of you! Oh, how nice of you! Wait, HM1, that's... A terrible move! Stop giving me terrible moves! Unfortunately, I have no slack off. I can't trade it for your Makuhita. Besides, if I got that Makuhita, it would probably have an all caps nickname, which is lame. Oh my god, whatever am I going to do against this trainer? Except be annoyed at how long this battle is presumably going to take. Or, I suppose it's not going to take that long, or yes it is, and it's going to give me basically nothing. Speed up. And I didn't even get a single level from it. Ugh. All right, finally, Wayne is going to probably become temporarily the strongest thing on my team. Good, because he's been freaking useless this far. In before he just ends up being exactly another Nia. Except he's not likely to be another Nia, because at this point I'm not at a severe disadvantage against the first gym. On the other hand, he is immediately learning a way better move than what Nia ever had. Or is he? I should probably take a look at what his stats are now too. Eh, his special attack is okay, I guess. Oh, I thought for a second it looked like like Orson still had better stats all around, but it looks like Wayne might be winning in a few things at least. Alright, and with that the entire team is at level 14 and ready to face the gym. Also, in case you want any demonstration of just how overpowered pickup is in this particular game, everything you see here is stuff that Zeke picked up during level grinding. Well, okay, some of it I had from before, but seven rare candies and two full restores and an Ultra Ball. But compared to the rare candies and the full restores, the Ultra Ball seems kind of just whatever. But seriously. And then it is time to enter this place, which will be a very difficult place for me to defeat. 
Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friends, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I sure can give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a leader and user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it! What do you mean, if? I am so obviously going to beat the gym leader. I have the best starter, you see! Okay. Okay, Orson be leveling up a bit too fast here. I might want to send in Tyrion instead for the next run turn. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was even the point in doing there? That why am I ever going to use Bide? That's one of those risky moves that I really just shouldn't be using. Ever. Yeah, well, I have a pretty good hunch that I'm going to beat you. Okay, maybe I didn't even need to switch out Orson. He wouldn't have leveled up from fighting one level 11 Geodude anyway. Still, always nice to give Tarin some experience as well, I suppose. Even though with both Kotori and Orson, Tarin is kind of redundant, but... For the time being... Meh. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Absolutely! Surely this will be a very difficult battle. Oh, well, that did a lot less than I thought it would, but still, this thing is not going to have anything that can particularly harm Orson anyway, so I'm not in danger. And that's about the most dangerous thing it can do. Oh right, she has potions, or she is a gym leader. But eh. <laughs> and then he scored a critical hit. Awesome. Alright, she has more potions, for she is a gym leader. Whoa, actually that ended up being Slightly more dangerous than I thought it would be, but me, it's over now. And now Orson is going to evolve. So awesome. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Just. Comparing this to the last rock gym, the difference is downright hilarious. I suppose that's just the difference having a good starter makes. No offense to Lewis, but he was really not good for that gym. Congratulations, your horse now looks really dumb! I am going to assume that Mudshot is going to be better than Mud Slap. Well, it's definitely a lot more... Well, I already pointed out that Bide is something I'm never going to use. And Mud Slap could have the advantage of lowering accuracy and such. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokémon. 
It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. That TM-39 contains Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokémon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Right, and speaking of the HM move cut, I think I should probably teach that to um, teach that to my designated HM slave and pickup artist. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Well, that seems boring. I'm not going to pay attention to that. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. All right, and over here, there are some trainers that I actually never fought before. You are a poor man's youngster Joey, youngster Joey. You don't even have a single ratata. How dare you? Ooh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, and then when we were jumped by an odd thug, the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! Excuse me, what was that sound even supposed to be? What? Are you coming? Come and get some then! Ah, Kill all in all! That hostage Pokémon turned out to be worthless! And to think I made a getaway! In this tunnel to nowhere! Hey you! Do you wanna battle me? Suddenly he is a pirate! Even though he is Team Magma, not Team Aqua! But he is a pirate nonetheless! And if this doesn't do much, I ult- Oh, that did a lot, actually. So, this is an effortless battle as well. Yar, My career in crime go comes to an end! This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. You want it back that badly, take it! Pico, am I, gl I am glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, oh, so you are Vega. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me by my, in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. A Pokeball, eh? Hey, I wonder if Zeke has picked up anything. Zeke has not picked up anything. What a letdown. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Yeah, well, I got an Ultra Ball from my Zigzagoon, so you're kind of coming up short. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parsley you got back for us. Could I get you to deli deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. <laughs> so, could I count on you to do that for me? Excuse me? So in other words, you just thank me for helping you by making me do your chores. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our stuff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. 
I understand that you are delivering a, a package to Slaithmort's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Dewford Town? I was hoping you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Dewford. Now, you should know that I am a great president. Believe me, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask for a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dewford and, Dewford and Slateport easily. Oh look, it's the sexist douchebag. Vega, how's your Pokedex? Have you filled in any pages yet? Mine rules! I went to the Pokemon catching frenzy in Petalburg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. How interesting. Hmm, I'm going to have to remember to come back and look at these plants later. Hold on, lass! Wake up, wait up, Pico! Hmm? You're Vega! You saved my darling Pico! We owe so much to you! What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Dufort and a package for Slateport, mm, Slateport then? Quite the busy life you must lead! But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all! You come right to the right man! We'll set sail for Dufort! Yes, yes we will! Oh my god, we're at the new area! I can catch something here! Ah, oh, I didn't get to catch something there! Ahoy! We've hit land in Duford! I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Stephen! Also, this place has a gym, but I'm not quite strong enough for it yet. Or... Chances are I'd probably be able to fight him just fine, but for the time being, I am not going to. Oh my, how nice of you! I don't see how this works. Official excellent look merchandise. The authentic article of excellent look. Alright then, time to enter a new area where I may catch something. Do I want to use that AGM? I suppose it depends on... Oh, I need the gym badge first. Well, in any case, I have come in here with the intent of catching something. Please be something awesome. Meh. I already had one of you. I'm not particularly fond of using st the same stuff the same time repeatedly. But I suppose that is what I get. And it's even a female again. I was hoping for something cooler. And that something cooler was a Makuhita. But I didn't get a Makuhita. And because you are not a Makuhita, your name shall be not a Hita. Man, that is the second Zubat I've named after what it's not. <laughs> Earlier in this episode, I said that I had to remember to go back here and pick up these berries. I did indeed remember to go back here and pick up these berries. Though I'm not actually sure if these will have... Oh, they had spr um, sprouted. How awesome. And then for the next time, I should probably plant some berries somewhere else that isn't quite so out of the way. In any case, I now have leper berries, which basically work as ethers, so that's awesome. 
Now then, next thing I should do is actually challenge the next gym already, but I'm a bit weak for the next gym yet, so... Back to doing more level grinding, I suppose. Yo, Makuhita, where were you the last time I was here? I wanted to catch you, damn it! Oh dear, I thought these guys didn't have fighting moves, but apparently this guy has a fighting move. Ugh, that could have been terrifying. And it would have been another case of a Pokemon just dying while I wasn't even paying attention. No, come to think of it. Why am I even level grinding right now? Do I not have seven rare candies? I suppose I should take a bit of a look at who actually needs these things though. So yeah, turns out that trying to level up a dark type against Makahitas is a bit of a risky business, so I decided to instead go back here where there is stuff that's getting, that they can easily handle. Even though I'm not actually leveling up Chen Chenzi right now, but... Still, the point stands. Kind of a risky business. Alright, and with that, my team is up to level 17, and I'm probably just going to run away from this thing. Meh, it's an Inkada. It's not particularly terrifying. I might as well just one-shot it. Vega has defeated the first gym and is already ready to face the second one, that is, as soon as she finishes the very long m road back there. Will she be able to defeat the second gym? Find out... next time. <sighs>